So I got a 48 inch OLED LG, 120 frames per second TV. The space is by centimeters, you can see that. For in order to make it stop knocking on the wall, I put a piece of foam right between the TV. It's got just enough space to not cause damage. And then I have space over here and foam up top so that the TV is perfectly standing from there and there and on the back so it doesn't go side to side and it's not extending. Let's show you the mount. Now I got this TV set up on a RV mount that I ordered on Amazon and this right here see it's connected it won't extend it's stacked on the wall so all I got to do is press that down and push it out so I pull that piece of string and it unhooks from the back and you can see the foam falls out and that foam falls away now I just keep on pulling it and I got a couple of inches between the TV and my bed I got a tw I have a 12 inch mattress let's get that out of the way show you the back okay so I got my HDMI cords and my satellite cord right here and a optical cable that connects into the TV and I route the optical cable all the way up through the space in between to my speaker which has a subwoofer as well and I just got an extension cord for the sub wire that hooks all the way around in through here I got a couple wires coming out through there to the outlet and through the wall so this mount I had to get a 300 by 200 mount adapter and hook it onto the RV mount. I got the RV mount on Amazon and then I got the adapter on Amazon. So I put the mount, the adapter onto the mount and I just hooked the TV to the adapter. So it all works. See it's extended right now because this is an RV mount and I hook the RV mount onto this piece of wood where the wood is connected to the actual truck mounts that this came with. I'll show you. You can see more. And I just have a lot of wires. But it doesn't move at all. And you can see how thin this TV is. That is super thin. But the bottom is kind of thicker. You can see it's the length of probably two inches. And here, it's a couple centimeters. So I try to support the bottom right here so it doesn't cause any bending in the TV up here. And so far, so good. I've gone a couple thousand miles with this. This is my second 48 inch. The first 48 inch I put in here, I broke it because I had this subwoofer hooked up. Well, this was raised and I had it sitting up here by bungee cords and then it swooped down, it fell off and it swooped down and smashed my TV. This guy did. This was going this was up here like that and it fell down and swooped because it was held by the bungee cords and it smashed the TV and I had to return it and got a replace one. I had warranty, accidental damage. So all I got to do to put this back in, now this was a lot of work. This TV's heavy, 48 inches. I had my dad help me because we had to see these screws right here. We mounted it to the mount that came with the truck. 
Yeah, well, that was kind of easy, but then the hard part was putting the RV mount onto the piece of wood and centering that perfectly so that when it's fully enclosed, the TV is perfectly centered from wall to wall. And the edge that we had to measure was from the top because the TV will have space in between here because there's a padding that comes out and that's where I put the foam to keep that TV from wobbling on, you know, on the road, it's gonna wobble all the time. And this is 120 Hertz 4K OLED. And I got a, like a $160 HDMI cable that I hook up for HDMI 2.1, cause this allows HDMI 2.1. I have two HDMI cables. This one, cheap one for like 20 bucks on Amazon, 20 footer. I hooked it all the way around and wired it to my TV. So I gotta unhook this because it's garbage. Whenever I play games, it actually blacks out because it can't blacks out on my TV because the cable can't has it's not good enough to run on 2.1 HDMI that's on the uh, laptop. So I actually bought this cable for $160 for my DVD player. And I just have a lot of 4K movies that I watch. A lot of 4K stuff, you know? And it's actually really nice on this TV. Really, really nice. Especially with the subwoofer. It's really good. So I got a DVD player that I got hooked up to this TV as well. I just switch out the cord from my laptop to my DVD player. And I, when I'm done using my laptop, I'll just connect it to the DVD player. And I got all this stuff hooked up to my extension cable port. And then that one is connected to the wall back here. And that port is connected to the inverter under my bed. So whenever I'm done using my stuff, I turn the switch off there, turns everything off, and then I turn off my inverter so that all my power energy is shut off, nothing is drawing from the actual truck battery. And then when I'm, just to be safe, if I'm leaving the truck for a long period of time, I turn off the truck and I have a kill switch down here so I got a kill switch down here you can see that right there the little well it's a switch so I it turns the whole entire truck off nothing's drawing from the batteries and I'm good to go but when I use the microwave or I have the kettle going it will turn off the TV because it's drawing too much power I have an 1800 watt inverter but i also have an ipad charging with a 60 watt power brick and i i'll have the kettle hooked up i'll have the microwave hooked up sometimes but i try to switch it all out just so that i get the right type of power going so let's go ahead and this tv is amazing it's the lg c1 let's put it back together i'm gonna remove this cable because it's just too much cables and so it's a little bit of a mess but that's the setup we got the actual tv mount that can, goes up to 40 inches that came with the truck so it's a perfect square it doesn't move or anything but you can take it off so we just mounted the wood onto that tv mount and then we mounted the rv mount onto the wood and then i had to get adapter onto the RV mount and then I put TV onto the adapter. So all I gotta do now is properly do this. And I'm about to hear a click. Now this TV is about 30, 40 pounds, somewhere around there. And it holds up perfectly well onto the, because the actual the original mount that came with this truck, it is hooked onto the actual like panel whatever really well and this has had no problems over thousands of miles driving so i gotta use either two hands because there's no 
there you go. It's hooked and I can't pull it out now. That It clicked right here. Let's see, see there's the mount that connected to the actual wall of my truck. There's the wood, RV adapter, and see the strain? It's connected. Let's see. It's connected to, well, there's a lever up there inside the RV mount. Well, it's, it's like a pin that's, I don't know how to explain it, but it connects so it doesn't extend. Now, what I gotta do now is, you know, find the right center and place this foam right there. Well, I gotta place it better than that so that the foam's not covering the TV. I gotta push it in more. And then I have this piece of foam. And this foam I just got from my, uh, well, it's supposed to be for gun casings, so it's not gonna rub off. I don't think it should. And I just push it up in there with that space. And now it doesn't really wobble. It doesn't hit the wall and it's not going back and forth because it's connected to the wall. Only The only thing it can do is rock side, like push in that way or push out this way push in that way push out that way you know like that it can't extend but it can do that so that's why I have this foam in those spots so that it's perfectly stained still and it's not gonna go wobbling all the time you know all it does on the road is that barely anything this is 48 inches I'm gonna hook this all up and we're gonna test the sound next so here I am, I got a Razer keyboard, it's pretty sweet. And then I got also a Razer mouse with a 10 button layout. It's charging right now, but this helps me win a lot of stuff. Got the pirate flag. You're hearing the sound come out of the speaker. It's got, it's the Katana Sound Blaster Katana. It's amazing. And then I got my subwoofer blasting me right here. Now the sound, you can barely hear it when you're not in this little box that I'm in because when you're outside the truck or up there, you can barely hear it. Like, that's how loud that is. And then we're gonna move over here and we're gonna listen to how loud it is over there. So, that's what it sounds like right here. Beautiful display. Really fast refresh rate with the OLED. It's amazing and you can barely see the foam it's like not even there but it keeps it from wobbling on the road I don't have to touch it at all I just have to be careful with my feet to not touch the screen because my mattress is so high so let's stand over here so that we can hear what it sounds like that's my fan so you can barely hear it up here and when the sound's going off, because the subwoofer is facing that way and it's on a platform that's like rubber, so all the reverberations just cancel out as it goes out. It points that way, it goes into this little cab area, so it's so loud. I have to turn it down sometimes. I could barely hear it when I go up here though. But when I'm in there, it's a movie room, so. Laptop, I turn that off, leave the screen open so that the air comes out. I have this game on ultra settings, everything. I feel in slightly warm air, it's slightly warm to the touch. Only where the air is coming out. It's hotter back here, comes out there and there, but it draws the air in and it comes out so. It's really well ventilated. Plus I got the AC blowing in and it's cooling everything off. I got the HDMI connected to the back. And then I have a set Bluetooth from a laptop to the speakers. So you can barely hear it from back here.
then when you get into this area, yeah, it's nice. So I, I can try, and I have my remote right here where I Velcro it. And I just, uh, I can switch the base. It's on three right now, let's switch it to four. That's the highest. And I'm gonna turn it up. It's on 30 now. 30 is gonna be loud. You can switch it to Bluetooth, optical cable, USB. I can switch the LED lights on the back. But I like them off because it reflects on the TV. You can see it. So lights off. Put that back up there. Let's see. Let's test out the gameplay. I sometimes have to move my feet out of the way so I can see what's on the bottom. So you can see my keyboard. I got special keycaps. I got blue one, silver one, gold, and then light blue. It's almost see-through. It's, it's the best. And then the yellow backspace, same kind of as these two. These are the same type. It's, it's loading for the game right now. We're focusing on the TV. His head's down. Spark down. The enemy has your flag.
ally has taken the enemy flag. too loud on the bass so I'm gonna turn it down just a bit down to three So that I make sure that you know nobody outside I don't bother anyone when they're sleeping yeah that's some uh, gameplay <laughs> 